Welcome back. We'll continue from where we left off in the previous tutorial with this pipe for an array. Now let's learn a little bit of uh, uh, about array. What we'll do is what is called a spike in test driven development. To understand arrays better, let's go out of this project and let's create a small test. So I'll create a new test file, a uh, new test class and uh, I would want to call it array spike test. It's just something to uh, get started. com dot I would probably use course enrollment. Yeah, enrollment. Dot. Uh, I would call it a spike. And array spike test. This is just to get an understanding of what arrays is. So let me just create the first test public. Let's now try to understand creation of array. So let's just call it understand creation of array. So what is in here? So the first thing is um, an array represents a list of things of the same type. By same type, I mean same class or of same uh, primitive type. So, for example, this is an integer array. Integer array of scores is equal to new int of 1, 2, 3. So, here what we are actually declaring is a uh, Okay, let's just resolve the compilation error. So I import the test and public, I would want to put void. So now we have a compiling test, that's good. So what we have done here is created an integer array. So I've put three values in the integers array. So one comma two comma three. So uh, I could add as many values I would want, zero comma one comma two comma three comma four. That makes it five values. So what I'm looking at right now is a small integer array. So this integer array scores. Uh, this is where we are declaring that scores is an integer array. And what we are doing here is creating a new integer array uh, with five values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So uh, I could actually use something of this kind that it's uh, five, uh, like I can actually do something of this kind where I can declare here that it's a new int of five. No. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. Uh, this is possible in C, but in Java, no. So when you are initializing the error, you are not supposed to specify the um, length. So now you have a scores array with five elements. So now let's try and actually see how to refer the values inside an array. So let's say scores. The biggest difference between programming languages and other stuff is your first elements index is actually zero in most of the programming languages. So if I refer to scores of zero, it's the first element. The first element of the array is this. So I refer the the way I refer to the first element of the array is scores of zero. So let's see if this holds true. Uh, obviously, I have to add the static import. I do a control one, command one, whichever you are comfortable with, and I do a assert equals zero comma scores of zero. So that basically checks whether the value at scores at of zero that the first element in score is zero. So let's just run a J unit. And check whether it's fine. I'm using the shortcut again, Alt Shift X, Command Alt X, whichever way you want to prefer, and press T, and it runs the genuine and it passes. So whatever we thought is earlier is correct. Now I'm using another shortcut to copy that line. It's Alt Shift bottom arrow, or you can do a Control C, Control V to be uh, safe. Uh, 
now uh, i want to check the second element of the array so the second element of the array is scores of one that's scores open bracket one close bracket and i'm checking whether the value is one so let's now uh, save this do a run of the test it's all shift x and t and it goes through fine so whatever we are thinking of is right so an array is used when i know how many elements would be there in uh, at the creation of the array so here when i created the array it's with these many elements so it's understand uh, creation of the array i think we have uh, understood it a bit now also let's check another one variable called arrays scores dot size now if i have an array there is a way i can find the number of elements in the array that's scores dot length this the length of the array which we have created is five let's just run the program and just check that to make sure we are doing the right thing so right click you can do run as junit or you can actually use the shortcut key as defined all shift x t command so x t and say proceed sorry i forgot obviously this semicolon so i have provided the semicolon now and again i'm doing the junit run and this thing succeeds so what we have looked at is how we can create an array how we can uh, check the length of the array how do you refer to an element of the array um, and the other important thing with java is if you refer to an uh, element outside the index let's say i'm trying to refer to uh, i have five elements in this so i can have indexes varying between 0 and 4 so 5 is a invalid reference so if i say 5 and just say some I, i'm just trying to see what happens if i try to i have not defined any value in here for that fifth element so i'm checking whether it's zero let's just check that out so let's run the test and see what happens okay if you see java throws something called an array out of bounds index so it's coming from this line if i double click here actually on the uh, left hand uh, side on the failure trace of the test if i click the uh, uh, test failure it would give me the line which is causing the failure and it's telling me that the line failed because of an array index out of bounds exception so i'm referring to an element which is out of bounds of the index uh, the same thing would happen if i try to do something of this kind so let's try and run this same thing array bounds out of exception this is one of the reasons why uh, java is a secure language um in uh, languages like c probably c plus plus you'd be able to do this and probably get some garbage value but java is relatively a safe language and it does not allow you to access any variables other than what you have declared so yeah uh, that's uh, just uh, to get you an uh, idea of what is possible inside the array. Now let's try and actually and try and understand a few more things about an array. Like I'd create another test, public void. Uh, I would want to understand now the uh, default values in an array. So if I don't assign uh, any values in an array, what happens? So. Are you curious like me? Let's see. So I just declare scores as an array and I want to actually uh, just say new int of 5. So what we are doing here is saying scores is an uh, integer array and here I'm just saying create a new int of 5. So what happens here? So let's check that out. Assert equals now scores uh, now i would want to check the uh, length of the array first it's scores dot length 
So that's, I think it should be success. Next, I would want to check what value would be there inside the first element of the array. So I'm just putting some default value. I guess it would be zero, so, but let's check that out. Scores of zero. So yeah, that's good. And I'll just run the J unit. Okay, perfect success. So I just want to double check this. And so what I'll do is uh, try and check the fifth element in the array. Sorry, check the fifth element of the array, just to check whether the entire array is uh, as in zero or not. Okay, perfect. So even scores of zero, scores of four, which is the fifth element in the array, is assigned a value zero. That's really good. So now we have a basic concept about what an array is, what how to initialize an array, and all that stuff. So now, uh, since we have completed this spike, a spike is typically used when I don't understand a concept fully, and I don't want to understand, I don't want to play with my project to understand uh, about that concept. So I just come out of the project, create a spike test. I can leave the spike test in here or I can delete the spike test, whichever way you would want to uh, do it. And this would help me to understand uh, the test uh, better. Let's change our project to use the arrays concept in the next tutorial. We are creating more videos as we speak. And if you want to stay updated, don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and feel free to share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time.